Hi, my name's Tom. I'm here to talk to you about this Stanley Fat Max Utility Knife and all the different things it can do. It's very helpful for things like the project behind me because right now I'm going to tell you that I'm not standing in front of a tile wall, but rather I'm standing in front of an adhesive tile wall. Uh, this wall was actually covered with a kind of an ugly tile that we didn't like, great big pattern on it. So we took some of these adhesive tiles from Amazon and we went ahead and stuck them up on here. And I think the result came out really pretty well. It's hard to tell that they're not tile. Now, a couple quick things. Um, yes, some of our edging needs to be cleaned up. We do need to go ahead and get better at it. There's a little bit of an art form to this, but that's where that utility knife comes in handy. Uh, these things can be cut with a utility knife or a roller blade. I would go ahead and use uh, like a quilting roll blade. I would go ahead and use a, a straight edge, a, a metal ruler, and I would score the tiles, and then you just go ahead and they snap right off once you score them. The advantage of these, of course, is that they're nice and simple to put up. They are adhesive tiles, so all you do is you turn them around, and there's some just a tape backing on the back. You peel back the paper. There we go. You peel back the paper, and you just stick it on the wall. That's it. Clean the wall up. Make sure it's flat and smooth. Uh, it does not work against textured walls, but something like a flat wall where you already have tile, that's great. It covers it up. Uh, it is fairly waterproof. It is splash proof. You can wipe it down. Uh, so far, so good. We've had it up here for a couple weeks now. It's worked great. You can take these things off the wall um, with a little bit of trouble. With regular tile, you have to chip it off and just tear the tile right out of the wall. Uh, with this stuff, you can kind of just kind of use a chisel or a little flat metal spatula and kind of peel it off. You will have some of the residue of that double-sided tape, but then any kind of a, a glue solvent of some sort will remove all of that. We actually had a different pattern, a different color of this, and we put it up on one of our kitchen uh, tile walls over there, and we put it up. We didn't like it, so we took it down and left some of that sticky stuff. We just used that solvent, cleaned it up, and you would never know that something was there at one point. It's just clean tile now. Again, it's really easy to cut. I just went ahead and scored this piece with a razor, and then you can just sort of boop, crack it right there, and then I'll go take a razor. I'll cut back the tape, the tape portion. Uh, and then I can go ahead and put this up. I would use a metal guide or a metal uh, ruler to kind of guide your blade. Uh, and again, you can see some of our edges are not real clean yet. We have to go ahead and work on that. So what we can do is we can actually take these out and then recut a piece and put it back in. And it looks great. You got a whole bunch of sheets of this stuff. Uh, we're thinking about actually doing our entire kitchen backsplash in this. Uh, instead of actually taking all the tile out or paying a tile person to come in and put the grout up and put the adhesive up and go through all that crap, we're just going to go ahead and wipe them down real well. And we're going to go ahead and just put this around all over the, uh, our entire kitchen. We can, go ahead, we can even go ahead and mix and match colors. We're not sure what we're going to do yet. Uh, yeah, but this stuff's actually really well, uh, works really well. Again, this is our first attempt. I would have probably preferred to start in a corner somewhere where you couldn't see some of our mistakes. But uh, yeah, the results are, are really quite impressive. Uh, I really recommend this stuff.